Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Did you watch my video yesterday? Did you watch my video yesterday where we um, exposed uh, game rigging cheaters? Two platoons working together and uh, showed the game and showed the cheating and exposed them and did a little rant at the end. I'm still exposing game rigging cheaters and uh, hopefully you guys are appreciating it and I hope Wargaming bans their accounts and uh, uh, I appreciate you guys that have subscribed to the channel and are supporting me on that effort. But something strange happened. I exposed those cheaters yesterday. Watch yesterday's video. It's a pretty interesting. And it's funny because I finished the video, I, I released it, <clears throat> and then I checked uh, my emails for because I checked for you guys to send me replays, and I got another replay uh, by True Airspeed in a supercomper, which is uh, very interesting. And uh, can you guys see what's happening? Have you noticed already? But it's funny because I released the video already. And then another viewer, another supporter sent me another replay. And it just so happens that the same troop that I featured yesterday, cheating, are now caught by another viewer cheating again. Now, did you notice what just happened? Let's pause it right here. Okay, let's make the minimap bigger. We'll just explain this one just as it happens. This super conqueror noticed it. He noticed right away at the beginning of the game that his team wasn't uh, deploying properly. There's two mouses on his team. They're sitting at A3. They haven't even moved. There's a T92 artillery on his team. He is just a placeholder. There's another platoon on the enemy team, a T92 artillery, so that it's more like most likely that these two platoons will land in the same battle when they click together. And there is an object 260 <clears throat> and an object 907. Exactly the same as yesterday's video. Now look at where the object 907 is. He's making a scooting beeline to get up the hill. You see him right there on the minimap at F6? He is going up to the top of the hill. Why is he going up to the top of the hill? Let's see if, he, if the super conqueror can get a shot into him. Oh, he did not. You should get a shot into him. Oh, you could have got a shot into him, but he can he, can he, can he? He's going to, even if he takes damage, he's going to scoot up there. And he bounced, of course, because it's an object. Object 907 players are <coughs> really good players, and they know how to angle their armor. So he was willing to take that risk, even though he's not a light tank, to just go up that hill, even if he lost half his HP. Why would he do that? Well, we will not see the object 907 for a while, right? As the super conqueror continues to play his game. But what he's going to do, if we zoom in on the minimap again, uh, <coughs> he has got now up on the hill here, hidden, and he knows that the two mouses are right here at A3, sitting sideways, just like they did yesterday. I think yesterday's video was on Sand River. And he's farming them. Oh, close, you don't have the aerial uh, mode, uh, you know, super chopper. Whatever, have a cookie. The, the, the same Object 907 that we exposed yesterday is caught again by a different viewer. And he's just up there now <clears throat> farming the mouse. The mice? Well, if you're playing this game, if you're the STRV or T124 sniping, or if you're the AMX 50B or the Leopard, <clears throat> you're just playing. You don't see the Object 907. You notice your, your two mouses on on your team are, are useless and in the post game stats you'll find that the the whole platoon on his team didn't even fire their gun uh, so what are they doing if we look behind over here where are they if we look behind over there you'll start seeing the mouses losing their hp the mouse has already lost some HP. He was at 3,300, but now he's at 2,995. How could he be losing HP? You notice them sitting there sideways? Well, they're going to slowly squander their HP. Should it just be a short video today, guys? Do we need to watch the whole thing? It just happens behind the scenes. <coughs> the object has his way. And, uh, and farm, farm, farm. Till Wargaming takes his account away. He'll be farm, farm, farming till Wargaming takes his World of Tanks account away. Wargaming, you should take his account away, okay? He's just a... He's now, just a, as, if you were the Super Conqueror playing this game, you, you look at the minimap and your whole team is on the A-line. 
the, the two mouses, <coughs> the Leopard, the GW, the T124, the STRV, they're all just uh, uh, sitting back there. Let me look at them all. They're all just saying, oh, look, the mouses have lost a lot of HP. Oh, look, another 288 damage on the mouse. Look at the mouse's HP. Oh, another 279. Why is the, how could the mouse be losing so much HP? The enemies probably haven't even detected the mouses. Look at the, let me pause it right here. Look at the enemy deployment. <clears throat> Look at the uh, white circle on the Super Conquer, okay? If there is an Object 907 on the hill here, which we know there is, those mouses are outside the maximum detection range, okay? There's no way that the Object 907 can be spotting the mouse. The mouses. Because the object nine, look at the minimap. If he was up here somewhere, he's farther away from the mouses than the than the super conquer. And we see how his white circle, the edge of it here, the mouses are out of render range. <clears throat> in order to spot the mouses, someone has to be in these buildings somewhere. But the mouses have been farmed, even though they haven't been detected. Uh, by there's no way they can be detected by the enemies. There's no one to detect them. Eventually, the 907 will come off off the hill, and you'll see this. But notice them still farming. 327 damage done. <clears throat> Just keep watching the mouse's HP. And he's spreading the love around. He's shooting both mouses. <clears throat> possibly missing some shots along the way, right? Because he doesn't see them. He's probably shooting and asking them a little to the left, a little to the right. Okay. Maybe he doesn't want to be too blatant about it. Maybe that mu both mouses look like they're on kill shots right now. The Object 907 is still not detected. The poor, um, poor Super Conqueror is dead. Oh, look! Let's pause it right there. Uh, one of the mouses just exploded. Oh, don't act so surprised, son. Mouses explode every day. How did one of the mices just explode? Hasn't even been detected by the enemy team yet. The Object 907 still on the hill. Look at the... The Object 907 has the kill. This mouse exploded really outside render range. team. Uh, and there, the Object 907 has just come off the hill. You notice that? He's just come off the hill. He was on the hill the whole time. And now he's moving... Uh, into position here where he can uh, there you go okay let's pause it right there look at that this guy switched perspectives look at these guys look how they set themselves up all right look how they set themselves up the angle that they're on here so that someone on the hill here can just shoot down at them and <clears throat> they were outside render range no possible way they could be spotted but that guy was shooting they were probably giving him instructions right a little higher a little lower a little to the left a little to the right maybe he didn't want to appear like he uh too blatant he killed one of the mouses he farmed the other mouse down to 215 uh hp look at them rigged right just a uh, hey, look at the battle it's still a close game it's 3-6. There's only, uh, what, about 2,000, 3,000 point spread. If you were playing the game and going down the, the A line, or the 1 line, or the 2 line, or the TVP, or any of the other players... Uh, oh, look, the mouse is alive. Look at the mouse is alive, guys. The mouse has turned its turret. This guy's playing. There is a human controlling uh, this mouse. They're not AFK. They're deliberately doing this, okay? And uh, if if you were one of the other players, uh, oh, now someone spotted, and uh, the, the enemies are closing in, and, and, and the game's over. But who got that kill? I, I don't know. I lost track. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to the post-game stats now. Oh, look at the in the chat. They rigged the game. Says. Um, uh, says our Super Conquer, and he's absolutely right. They rigged the game. Let's go to the post-game stats. So, a uh, defeat for the Super Conquer, and uh, once again, it's the same troop, guys. Uh, the two mouses that did not anonymize themselves, uh, Super 1222, same guy from yesterday's video, different day, different battle. This guy, uh, Davidos123 underscore 4 from the Barls clan, same guy from yesterday, uh, EU server, the this guy here is anonymized but same guy as yesterday um, and you'll notice the people on his team this guy here same guy as yesterday i i don't know 
you guys can check yesterday's video the same object 260 that played uh, yesterday anonymized and then this guy let's just check this guy to make sure it's the same guy his real name is new dominic 321 combat officer from the 1c fc clan overall w of 1366 he's kind of just a green player but uh, recently in the last uh, three and seven days 154 battles of uh, almost super unicom status new dominique 3213 you're a cheater and he is the same cheater from yesterday yesterday's video caught multiple times by different people sent to me separate emails i wish i would have had them both i would have featured them in the in the same uh, uh, uh same video but uh, thank you so much for sending this in mr super conquer uh true airspeed thanks for sending it uh another you know typical example the the platoon of nothingness being farmed what do you guys uh, feel about these players that uh, have these miraculously high wn8s and are super unicoms and got all the the really good reward tanks and raising the bar on the results uh, for you the average small player um, do you think it's about time we tried to crack down and uh, uh, not just ban them for two three days but throw these guys Th this guy's got an object 907 so he's obviously uh, played in a clan and you know, that's a reward tank uh, that's achieved it not everyone has one he's platooned with this guy in an object 260 who's done the uh, missions and got himself the reward they're probably uh, um, you know out together farming and and rigging games um, I know they're good customers wargaming I know they played for a while and they're they're invested in let's just say they're invested in the game but in my opinion um, you got to rip the band-aid off it's going to hurt a little bit. You're going to lose some customers, uh, the, the cheaters that invest money in this game. But you got to just throw them out. You can't just slap them for a few days. I think you got to uh, permanently uh, ban them and ban their IP addresses or whatever you need to do to just you know, say goodbye, like a divorce, right? Consider it a divorce and just get rid of them. Uh, and it'll make the game better for all of us. You don't need this uh, crap in the game. Uh, I know you're probably sitting, working on the pros and cons, saying, well, yeah, but... Uh, we know it's an issue. Not too many people are complaining about the issue. We have some CCs on our side that are not saying anything. We've told them not to make a big fuss. We're trying behind the scenes to get rid of some of the players that are blatantly cheating. But there's some really good customers and we don't want to lose that income. So we're not sure what to do. We've got to look at the pros and cons. No, don't think of it as a cost analysis like that. Um, uh, just ban them permanently and get rid of them and the game will be better. And uh, in the long run, you'll make more money. It just, just, what are there, a few thousand? Just get rid of them. Just um, throw them out of the game. I won't have any more um, material to make videos. Maybe the game will, you know, most of the videos on the game will be uh, positive and fun. And you'll get new players that will uh, spend money and you can make money. But this kind of bullshit uh, destroys the game. Left, left unchecked wargaming, you let this keep going on, it's going to destroy your game. That's my um, that's my two bits. So, uh, but that that's just me. Uh, obviously, uh, from the um, lack of response from just about everyone else, um, maybe I'm uh, of the minority point of view. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, I'll read your comments and I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.